Hi there, this video will go through some details on how exactly Globe 5 voice commands in Armor 3 works. But first is a brief overview. Glove Pi stands for Glove Programmable Input Emulator. It was originally started as a system for emulating joystick and keyboard input using the Essential Reality P5 Glove, but it doesn't have to be used exclusively with VR Glove since now it supports emulating all kinds of inputs such as joysticks, game pads, mouse, and keyboards. Not only does GlovePi emulate keystrokes, but it also features speech recognition. You can download version 0.45 of GlovePi from this website. Now, once you have downloaded the zip file, you can extract the contents of the zip archive to a folder of your choice. And in this case, I have it extracted at this uh, location the zip archive itself is about 2.52 megabytes in size now once you open up the folder one of the files you will find inside is pyfree.xa okay this pyfree.xa is the main glove by executable file which when run would bring out the GlovePi graphical user interface. The GlovePi graphical user interface or GUI has three tabs. The first tab is the script tab. Now it shows the name of the script if one is loaded and it is here where you can write any script you want. Remember that or take note that GlovePi reads PIE scripts or PI scripts saved in PIE file extension. I personally use Notepad, but uh, you can use any text editor that you prefer to write or edit Globe PI scripts. The second tab is the GUI tab. It can automatically generate a script using gesture recognition, or you can edit the script manually with the graphical user interface. The third tab is the variables tab, which only works while your script is running and shows the values of all the variables. So in a nutshell, GlovePy is a program which can emulate keystrokes and do speech recognition. Speech recognition and keyboard emulation are two indispensable features of GlovePy, which we need in Armor 3 game. Now in Armor 3, specifically single player mode, you can control your player or your squad using key bindings or the so-called command menus. So for instance, if you are using default key bindings of the game and want to open the map in game, So, all you have to do is press the M button or key, and the map opens, okay? Furthermore, if you are the squad leader, so for instance, in this example wherein I have a three-man squad, and wish to have, for example, soldier two, okay, soldier over here, if you, I wish to have Soldier 2 to stay in crouched combat mode, then all I have to do is press F2 and 7, 7. Stay low. Okay. To have him in um, stay on his feet, all I have to do is press F2, 7, and six on your feet okay now this is where glove by comes in really handy so instead of pressing M key you can just say open map or instead of pressing F277 to have soldier two of your squad to stay in crouched position 
or combat mode you can just say to stay crouch okay to have it to see a glove by in action all you have to do uh, let's pause this first is load a script uh, glove by script I have already um, prepared a sample script in here which as mentioned earlier can be uh, opened in notepad for editing okay but to use this with the glove by GUI all I have to do is uh, bring up the globe by GUI hit file and then open and then select the script now it is already loaded but it is not yet running so even if I stay I go back to the game it won't do the keyboard and em emulation yet so to have it uh, do its job all I have to do is course hit the run button first then once I hit the run button and say open map in game globe by would press once the M key okay that is that is what basically this four lines here says now if I say for example sir soldier 2 then globe by would press once F2 key which by default corresponds to unit 2 okay then for this specific uh, lines of code it says if I say stay crouched or stay low love by would press twice 7 key And finally, this last example says, if I say on your feet, then glove by would press 7 followed by 6, which basically says, or which basically corresponds to the stand up command in game. Okay, so let's try it. So let's run it first and go back to the game. Two. Stay low. Two. Stay low. Soldier two. On your feet. Two. On your feet. Open map. Soldier two. Stay crouched. Two. Stay low. Soldier 2, on your feet. 2, on your feet. Okay, so, so that's basically how glove pie works. Okay, so the code, the, the code you see here is a good example on how the keyboard emulation feature of globe by works in synergy with the speech recognition feature okay the open map soldier 2 and stay crouched phrases in this example are considered voice commands these are considered voice commands That's the essence of GovPy. So it recognizes your voice commands and then translates them to the keystrokes you prog programmed it to do. One might find this approach pointless since you could just hit one button to open the map, for example, then say two words open map. GovPy, of course, can do more than that, those very basic sample tasks. It's just the tip of the iceberg. Imagine complex commands like requesting for artillery support, ordering your squad members to attach suppressor to their weapon, 
ordering members of your squad or your entire squad to shoot at a target you specify without going through the game's command menu. Now, all of those things are very much doable with GlobePy. I have several sample videos demonstrating complex or advanced commands in our commands done in with GlobePy. You can uh, view them at uh, voicecommands.blogspot.com. Now, GlobePy voice command puts you in control of the game. I find it so enjoyable to say what I want in game. It works well with any single player mission scenario showcase for Armor 3. So for me, it brings Armor 3 to a whole new level of realism. One which does not rely on command menus or action menus. Well, uh, to each his own. Tinker a bit with GlobePy so you can appreciate the sheer power of this input emulator or speech recognition program. And oh, by the way, it's a freeware. So thanks a lot for watching. Maraming salamat po.